you're watching daily news on all news nigeria i am okoyemi ulubimi here are the headlines for today kano antigraft agency probes ganduje's dollar bribery video i probe torture of residents for failing to observe seat at home tinubu resolves rift over principal officers welcome back now the news. Investigation has begun following allegations of bribery against Umar Ganduje, the immediate past governor of Kano State. Mahuyi Rimingado, chairman of the commission, in a press conference on Tuesday said the commission was looking into 2018 videos captured by Jaffa Jaffa, an investigative journalist who filmed Ganduje collecting words of dollars as a bribe. He said the commission had received forensic reports on the videos and had extended an invitation to the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, to part in the investigation. Remengado also averred that his commission commenced investigation in 2018 but could not go far because Ganduje, who was governor at the time, had immunity. Kano State Public Complaints and Anti-Corruption Commission, PCACC, says Forensic analysis has confirmed that dollar videos of former Governor Abdullahi Umaganduje were not doctored. Recall that the clips published by Daily Nigerian trended on social media in 2017 and allegedly showed Ganduje receiving bundles of dollar notes and stuffing them inside his flowing dress known as Babanriga. While Ganduje debunked the content of the videos, the Kano State House of Assembly subsequently set up a committee to investigate the allegations, but the committee is yet to submit its finding report and a new assembly was reportedly inaugurated on Tuesday. It had been exclusively reported on June 14 that Gandhiji asked the Kano State High Court to perpetually restrain the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, from investigating him over the video clips, which showed him allegedly receiving bundles of dollars from a contractor. In a suit filed before the High Court, the former Attorney General of the state asked the court to restrain the anti grafts Commission from probing Ganduje until a suit between the former governor and the publisher of the Daily Nigerian Jaffa Jaffa was determined. In other news, members of the Independent People of Biafra IPOB, a prescribed group, have tortured residents in an unconfirmed location in the southeastern part of Nigeria for not observing a seat at home declared by the group. According to reports, a security house feed, some members of the group flagged down a driver from his yellow tricycle on Tuesday and made him lie face down on the ground while they tortured him. In a trending video on social media, three IPOP terrorists fully armed with guns hit the man with butts of their guns several times. A seat at home is a disruptive practice initiated by various factions of IPOP to force the government to release Inam the Kanu, the leader of the group. The governor of Enugu State, Peter Mba, at last month encouraged Edengins to shun the seat at home order issued by the indigenous people of Biafra, IFOB, and go about their businesses. Interestingly, Simon Ekwai, a principal officer in IFOB, reacted by describing it as deceitful. During a broadcast, Simon Ekwai dared Peter Mba to show up at the market on Monday. If it truly really meant the order he gave the indigenous of the states to shun the seat at home exercise. This reaction followed the governor's June 1 cancellation of the order, stating that it had continued to have a negative impact on the state's economy. However, the current seat at home phase, scheduled to last a week in Anambra, Enugu, Imo, Abia, and Emboi State, was declared by autopilot and hypo faction led by Finland based Simon Epa. Epa's faction is believed to be responsible for many of the INEOS activities affecting the lives and property of the people of the region. The federal government proscribed the group and declared it a terrorist movement on September 20, 2017. Finally, on the news, President Tinubu has stepped in to repair the crack and end the debacle currently ongoing in the APC faction, which erupted after the announcement of principal officers. Tinubu had on Wednesday, June 5, 2023, reportedly resolved the crisis rocking the All Progressives Congress, APC, 
over the principal offices of the ruling party at the National Assembly. A fresh crisis erupted in the ruling party on Tuesday when the chairman, Senator Abilahi Adamu, rejected the principal offices of the party announced by both the Senate President Gautul Akpabio and the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Tajuddin Abbas. Shortly after the announcement, Adamu was quoted as saying the list did not emanate from the party, although the governors of the party under the aegis of Progressive Governors Forum, PGF, endorsed the new officers. A statement created... I had a courtesy call on Saturday by the President of the Senate and his deputy, and the following day, which was Sunday, I received a visit by the Speaker and the Deputy Speaker, you know, uh, coming to me for Salah homage, and uh, I both appreciated that. Uh, but I'm just hearing a rumor now from the, what they call it, online, online, that there have been some announcements in the, in the, in the, in the Senate and the House of Rep, the national headquarters of the party, Georgia Committee, has not given any such information or have communicated anything about the choice of uh, the remaining uh, offices uh, and uh, until we formally resolve and communicate with them in writing, which is the normal practice that has been here before we ever knew we'll ever come here. It is not our intention to break away with tradition. And uh, so whatever announcement is done, Either the President of the Senate, the Deputy Senate President, Speaker, Deputy Speaker, is not from the... ...the attention in the ruling party. Yesterday, President Tinubu summoned Adamu and the party secretary, Dr. Iola Omishere, to the State House, Abuja, where the issue was discussed. After the end of the meeting, there was no official statement from the presidency on the matter. A source said the president was embarrassed by the development. Another source said that at the meeting, the president endorsed the actions of the Senate president and the speaker on the principal officers. When contacted, however, the national chairman revealed that the matter had been resolved. Meanwhile, Tinubu's loyalists are unhappy with Hadamu and are rooting for his downfall since he cannot be trusted following his recent stunt. And that's it on today's news. To keep up with all news Nigeria, kindly follow us on all social media platforms displayed on the screen. We'll be back with more news updates. Until then, stay tuned. I am Okoye Mulubini. Do have a lovely day.